Hey there guys, it's Oscar with Maverick Drone Systems. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about CZI's TK300 tether system. And this tether is gonna be connected to the M300 or M350. And we're gonna show you guys on how to do that. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is, in order for the tether to work properly with the M350, we have to make some minor adjustments to the battery. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is, the first thing is you take off a battery clip. Be very careful with your battery clip. There's gonna be two springs inside of that clip that are gonna to wanna to pop out. So just go ahead and take it nice and slowly off. Once that is off, which we've already done previously, you're going to put this clip on that came with the CZI product. So let's go ahead and start there. I haven't fully screwed in our battery clip and the reason for that is the tether system comes with an attachment and in order for that attachment to be hooked onto the drone, we have to pull out the battery first. We then put in the attachment. It's gonna slide right into the battery connector. Once you kind of feel it nice and snug, take your battery, you're then gonna slide that right in. It's not gonna be perfectly flush. It is gonna stick out about half an inch and that's exactly what we want. You are then gonna take your battery clip. It's gonna be able to lock it in. In order for it to lock it in, we're gonna tighten it. Just enough so we can feel a little bit. And you're gonna wanna slowly just adjust it and make sure it's perfect for your potential battery. And then like I said, once you do feel it nice and snug in there, just give it a good test. Make sure it's unclipped out. And I can already tell I tightened it a little too much because I can't put it over the battery, just a little loose. There we go. And then, like I said, adjust the other side so that it is both snug on both batteries and not going anywhere. So once you've attached the attachment to the drone, you've attached the battery clip, we can now get our tether system ready. So with the CZI tether, what we're gonna wanna do is warm up the tether system. So we're gonna plug it into our adapter in the back and then get that going. One quick note is you do need 220 volts for this system to work. We don't have that capability, so we just have a transformer in the back for this to work. So like I mentioned, it's gonna take about 10 minutes for the tether system to be operational. And then once that's ready, we'll show you guys how to attach it. Now we wait. All right, so now that it's been 10 minutes, the tether system is now on. So now we're gonna go ahead and take the cable, we're gonna attach it to the drone, we also have these zip ties here. We're gonna zip tie the cable around the legs so that it doesn't get in the way of the propellers. And then once we see that the system is ready to go, we're gonna test it outside. So once you have the cable, all you have to do is go ahead and click it on here. Make sure it is secure and clicks in place. Then turn on your tether system. You're gonna hear a beep. Drone is now turning on. Controller is now turning on. So the fastest way to tell if the system is working properly is if you click on your batteries on any controller that you're using. We happen to be using the 350, so we have the DJI RC Plus. So with that being said, I'm just gonna click on the batteries up at the top. If I see that the power is going up, that means that our tether system is working. And I can already tell that the system did just go up. The battery went up about 1%, so that means that the tether system is working. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and put our zip ties onto the legs, and then we're gonna go ahead and make our way outside. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull some tension. The first zip tie I'm going to put is closer to the top, so I make sure that it's not in the way of the propellers. Nice and simple. Just gonna go, like I said, tighten it, not too tight, because I don't wanna mess with the connection, but tight enough so that it's not gonna go anywhere near these propellers. So that's good right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do one more on the bottom leg, so I know that the cable is gonna go straight down, and once again, not get in contact with these propellers. Perfect. So like I would mention, everything looks properly, everything is perfectly functional. So we're gonna go ahead and take this outside and show you guys how the tether system works. All right, so the tether system is on. We have it connected to the drone, and now we're gonna go ahead and do a test flight. Let's get started. So that is how you set up a CZI TK300 tether system. If you have any more questions, feel free to give us a call. Feel free to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.